Known for her sharp eye and entertaining bidding skills, Brandy Passante was a fan favorite on the hit reality show Storage Wars. Her ability to transform storage unit finds into profitable treasures made her stand out. However, behind the witty banter and fierce bidding, Brandy's life has been a roller coaster of heartbreaking tragedies. From cyber attacks to health issues and the loss of loved ones, her journey is a testament to resilience. Join us as we delve into the heartbreaking tragedies of Brandy Passante from Storage Wars, Brandy's difficult childhood. Although most of Brandy's heartbreaking tragedies occurred after she became a superstar on Storage Wars, known for her impeccable instincts, Brandy had a difficult childhood. In a candid interview with Lifetime Mom in 2013, Brandy revealed some shocking details about her early life and career when asked how she manages to compete with male figures on Storage Wars and the challenges she faces in the male-dominated industry. Brandy's response sent shivers down the spines as she said, I grew up with brothers, and they used to beat the crap out of me when we were younger, and I think that toughened me up a bit. She explained that this experience not only made her tougher, but also prepared her to be less emotional about the outcomes of events. Brandy added, I find that the men in my business will walk all over you once they discover your weaknesses, so you have no choice but to develop a thick skin. It forces me to be tougher and not to wear my heart on my sleeve. In another interview, she revealed that she wasn't born into a wealthy family and endured a lot of hardship growing up, despite being a daddy's girl. The Storage Wars star said that growing up in California wasn't easy, and that's why she was determined to be successful. She had to do various menial jobs from a young age, which continued into adulthood, just to make ends meet. Brandy even worked as a cleaner in a carpet cleaning company, which is how she met her longtime partner, Jared Schultz, who was the manager at the time. The only ray of sunshine from Brandy's tumultuous childhood was that it eventually led her to Jared and prepared her for stardom on Storage Wars. It will surprise you to know that there are more heartbreaking stories about Brandy's difficult childhood that she tactically avoids discussing in public. Raising children with medical needs. Brandy initially had a pretty normal life but experienced several heartbreaking tragedies, including suffering mental health challenges. In 1999, Brandy met Jared while working as a carpet cleaning assistant for a company in Tustin, California. Jared was the shop's manager, and he had a reputation for being abrasive. He once mentioned in an interview that a mutual friend would leave notes on his truck, reminding him to treat Brandy kindly as she was new to the company. Despite being a harsh boss, Jared found himself falling in love with Brandy and they eventually began dating, even though it was against the company's policy, which frowned upon romantic relationships between a superior and any employee. Against all odds, Brandy and Jared's relationship blossomed. Brandy gave birth to their first child, Cameron, in 2003, around the same time she and Jared left the carpet cleaning industry to open their now and then thrift store. Brandy managed the store from home after Jared's attempt to start a mortgage company failed, their second child, Peyton, was born in 2005. In an interview with disability advocate Danny Jordan on The Dad Diary, Brandy shared the heartbreaking story of her children's past medical issues. She revealed her daughter Peyton was born deaf and with a cleft palate, which required Peyton to undergo extensive surgery as a baby. Brandy explained that her daughter's birth, which should have been a joyful occasion, was overshadowed by this tragedy. She stated it was a difficult time, from waiting for Peyton's 16-hour surgery to taking her for speech therapy appointments while taking care of her son Cameron. Brandy also faced another difficult period when Cameron had surgery for a serious kidney condition. Reflecting on her experience with raising her kids before storage wars in an interview with Lifetime in 2013, Brandy said, It was very difficult for me. I love my kids. She added, I had to be a stay-at-home mom and I didn't have a career. I would have felt like a better parent if I was working because I would have the confidence that I could provide for my children in ways I did not experience as a child. Her children's health issues also developed deep empathy in her for children with disabilities. Brandy Passanti's failed spin-off series. Brandy and Jared's journey into the entertainment world was one they never expected or planned. It all started when A&E was shooting in their thrift store and some producers asked Jared if he and Brandy would mind being on TV. The rest is history. Brandy and Jared became one of the most famous reality TV couples when they debuted in the first season of Storage Wars in 2010. They were nicknamed the Young Guns for being the youngest bidders on the show. Brandy and Jared stole the hearts of fans with their entertaining bidding skills and charisma. 
earning them a spin-off series called Brandy and Jared, married to the job in 2014. Building on their established Storage Wars personas, the spin-off series aimed to showcase the day-to-day -day activities of their business, their relationships, and how they were raising their children while being public figures. A&E promised the spin-off series would be a thrilling insight into the lives of the couple, known for their special ability to find hidden gems in storage units. The series illuminated what really happened behind Brandy's storage unit success, covering their thrift store activities and the challenges of raising two children. Brandy's mantra on the spin-off series was, as a mother, I have two goals. Make sure that the college money doesn't turn into bail money, and to make sure that Cameron doesn't turn out like Jared. The spin-off series also featured the couple making plans for their long-awaited wedding after being together for 15 years, along with the setup of their second store, offering fans a deeper look into their lives beyond the auction scenes. Brandy had hoped the spin-off series would improve her brand by showcasing her qualities beyond the chaotic bidding of storage units. However, Tragically, the series Brandy and Jared, married to the job, didn't do well. It seemed viewers were more captivated by the thrill of the hunt on storage wars than the day-to-day -day activities of the stars. After a disappointing eight-episode run, the spin-off series was ultimately canceled, and the couple returned to storage wars, continuing their bidding for storage units. Brandy's scandalous cyber attack. Since her rise to fame on storage wars, Brandy has endured numerous heartbreaking tragedies. Her personal life was often reported on, and she became a target for scams and cyber attacks aimed at damaging her reputation. One of the most scandalous cyber attacks occurred in 2012, when Hunter Moore, known for distributing revenge porn, posted a nude video on his stalker porn website isn'tyouoneup.com and falsely claimed the woman in the video was Brandy by naming it Brandy from Storage Wars. The video was trending with hashtags, and many individuals expressed their disappointment. However, Brandy maintained she was not the person in the video and sued Moore for defamation, invasion of privacy, and consumer fraud, among other charges. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Brandy filed a lawsuit against Hunter Moore, demanding $2,500,000 in damages. The court documents highlighted the emotional distress Brandy suffered from the ordeal, stating that she was horrified, hurt, and ashamed to see the website's contents as they were not only false, but also deeply ill-intentioned. The lawsuit read, Brandy Passante never made any such video, has never had any contact with Mr. Moore, and did not send him sexual images, claiming Hunter had fabricated the photographs and videos. Despite the horrible nature of the situation, Brandy found justice in July 2013. The judge ordered Hunter to stop distributing the video, shut down his website, and pay Brandy's legal fees. However, Brandy's victory didn't feel like a big win, as she was only awarded $750 in damages. As expected, Hunter wasn't happy about the verdict and didn't feel remorse for his actions. Adding insult to injury, Hunter mocked Brandy on X, saying, what should I write on the check in the memo line for that betch who sued me? In a candid interview after the ordeal, Brandy shared that she went through a difficult time and one of her biggest fears was the video popping up on any of her family members' phones. She suffered a lot of anxiety and stress from the whole ordeal, and it almost ruined her public image. Life-threatening letters. When Storage Wars became a massive hit, it catapulted Brandy Passante's ordinary life into the world of reality TV. Achieving reality stardom may sound like a dream come true to most people, but for Brandy, this new fame initially felt like a nightmare. The sudden and intense spotlight came with a wave of unwanted attention. In an interview with Danny Jordan on The Dad Diary, Brandy shared that she received disturbing letters at the beginning of her reality TV career. She said, The whole course of my life shifted. I did have to move at one point to a guard-gated community in order to feel safe. The threats got so bad that I was afraid to leave my house for a while. Brandy confessed that she even had to go to therapy to help her work through the stress and anxiety she felt daily. She also mentioned that some intense fans inadvertently worsened the situation by showing up at auctions. This made her job extremely stressful and triggered her fears of being harmed during an auction. Danny admitted her fears were valid, stating that Storage Wars was very different from other reality television shows because its stars regularly interacted with the public in numerous episodes. Brandy further explained how these life-threatening letters affected her in another interview with Lifetime Moms. Despite her tough and assertive persona in Storage Wars, she revealed that she is not an extrovert and that all the attention was too much for her to handle. 
Brandy said, I even get anxiety when I have to go out to the store or to the gas station because I'm afraid of people approaching me with intentions of hurting me. Her shyness, coupled with the threats, often made her come across as an unpleasant person. Brandy explained that some of the threats stemmed from a misconception about her character because of her Storage Wars persona. She said, I think I'm perceived as a BTCH because of the show, but I'm just trying to run a business and save money. While the allure of reality stardom seemed enticing, the initial reality for Brandy was heartbreaking and far from glamorous. A mother's dilemma. One disadvantage of being in the spotlight is that when the whole world knows your name, they will invade your privacy to learn more about your family, too. Brandy Passante's children know this all too well, especially after her failed spin-off series Brandy and Jared. Married to the job brought some unwanted attention to them. Brandy realized the impact of her fame on her children when social media trolls began targeting them. During an appearance on The Dad Diary, Brandy mentioned that her children don't want her to post pictures of them on any social media platforms because of the trolls. The Storage Wars star said, they didn't like it at all. The kids at school gave them a hard time because of my fame. Brandy also revealed that some disturbed individuals sent her kids strange letters, which was another reason her family hurriedly moved to a gated community. But this wasn't the only tragedy Brandy and her children faced. She shared, Anytime I post anything, people say gross things about my daughter or, you know, just inappropriate stuff, and I don't want to expose them to that. Respecting her children's wishes to remain off her social media feed, Brandy rarely posts pictures of them unless she has their permission. She expressed that there are a lot of videos and pictures of Peyton and Cameron in her camera roll, which she treasures dearly, but the world won't get to see them. Brandy shared a photo of her daughter on Instagram in 2020 to celebrate her winter formal and show off her outfit. I stopped posting photos of my babies because some creepy ass dudes were harassing them. Don't be gross, she wrote. These tragic experiences made Brandy openly admit she wishes Peyton and Cameron, who are now young adults, would never follow her and Jared's footsteps in the thrift business and entertainment world. However, she acknowledges that their futures are ultimately their own choices. Brandy's Tragic Love Story As most fans of Storage Wars know, Brandy and her partner Jared came as a package deal. They had been together for almost 20 years, referring to each other as life partners, even though they were not married. During the first 12 seasons of Storage Wars, the duo, nicknamed the Young Guns, entertained viewers while buying storage units, leading to a lot of drama both on and off screen. This is why many fans were surprised when Brandy announced in the season 13 premiere of Storage Wars that she and Jared had split up. Brandy also revealed in an interview with The Dad Diary that they had actually split in 2018, although the news only came out in 2020. Most of the shock came from the fact that Brandy and Jared were able to keep their breakup quiet for a while. After the news of their separation, fans began speculating about the reasons why the Storage Wars power couple split. Some speculated it was because they couldn't separate their personal lives from their professional careers, which took a toll on their relationship. Fans stated their thrift store and passion for auctions didn't only bring income, but also created constant friction. Brandy confirmed their speculations when she opened up about how their professional careers affected their relationship in an interview with the Time Standard. Working together as a couple every day is quite an obstacle to overcome. We're together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, she said. Jared also admitted that storage wars made their problems seem less problematic, while it was actually eating away at their relationship. The initial excitement of shared success and on-screen fame waned and the very stage that brought them into the spotlight eventually fractured their relationship. Although their separation was shocking to everyone, the cracks in Brandy and Jared's relationship were visible long before Brandy's official announcement at the season 13 premiere. Despite their on-screen image as a bickering but united duo, the clues were there for anyone paying attention. Jared's sudden absence from Brandy's couple-filled Instagram feed was hard to miss, and fans with keen eyes would have noticed Brandy stopped wearing her engagement ring. Jared also didn't stay single for long. There were hints he was in a relationship with a mystery lady. The mystery lady turned out to be Rochelle Beckman, the bartender at the Rush Bar and Grill, a restaurant Jared bought in 2019. Brandy and Jared's split wasn't amicable, and it was difficult for the duo to navigate their differences professionally. Season 13 of Storage Wars illuminated this difficulty, as viewers were treated to more drama than ever before, all at the expense of Brandy's peace of mind. After their breakup, 
Brandy and Jared no longer worked as a team and faced the challenges of auctions on their own. Their strained off-screen relationship spilled into their on-screen interactions. Jared openly admitted, if Brandy bids on an item, I'll probably bid too, making it clear that he was out to get on his former partner's nerves. Before the season 13 premiere, Brandy posted a promotional image of Storage Wars on Twitter. In an interview with Spirit Talk, Brandy opened up about how she was moving on. She said, I became sort of emotionally dead inside. I was heartbroken. I didn't really have an identity for years, but these last couple of years, I'm kind of coming into my own and figuring out who I am. Brandy is a single mom. Part of what made Brandy and Jared split so tragic was the fact that their children were involved. Their two children, Peyton and Cameron, had to cope with the difficult separation, and Brandy found herself fully embracing the role of a single mother. In an interview with Danny Jordan on The Dad Diary, Brandy mentioned that although Jared was still a part of their children's lives, she revealed in the 2020 Facebook Live interview, I have them all the time, every day of every week. They're here with me, so I have to navigate that. She acknowledged that raising two teenagers on her own was tough, but she and her kids were doing their best to adapt to the situation. Brandy said, We have a good relationship. We talk to each other, and we're able to tell each other things without me getting shocked or upset. However, she also emphasized that she's working to navigate the fine line between being her children's confidant and their mom. I often have to remind them that while we can be cool and have fun together, I'm not their friend. I'm their mom. It's completely different, she added. When asked about the challenges of being a single mom, Brandy revealed that she had already done most of the parenting even when she and Jared were together. She also confessed that her children were more responsive to Jared when it involved doing things they didn't like especially house chores. It's the scary dad voice in the background that we're missing, Brandy said. Brandy lost loved ones. Brandy Passante is one of the many people who lost family members during the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020. In October 2020, the Storage Wars star took to Instagram to share the sad news that her dad had passed away. She posted a picture of her father holding her as a baby, accompanied by a heartfelt caption. I always smile when I think of you. I was most definitely a daddy's girl. I can't think of a time that you ever got mad at me or yelled at me. I absolutely use that to my advantage. I will miss you terribly. The heartbreaking post also mentioned that she lost more loved ones than just her father in 2020. Now, if everyone I love could stop dying in such close proximity, that would be great. Although she did not elaborate on who else she lost, it is clear from her words that 2020 was a tragic year for her. Brandy has continued to honor her father on social media in the years since his passing. Recently, she posted a video with various clips of the two of them to celebrate his birthday. I miss you terribly. I hope you're enjoying a road soda in a paper bag and a cheap smoke, Brandy wrote in the caption. Brandy's ex-partner allegedly assaulted her. Brandy and Jared worked hard to maintain professionalism while appearing on Storage Wars, but off screen, the tensions between them were real and very intense. Jared apparently made things even more difficult. Their post-separation relationship hit rock bottom when he allegedly assaulted her in May 2021. Brandy was spending time with some of her friends in an Orange County bar when Jared visited the establishment and proceeded to talk with her. According to TMZ, the discussion quickly escalated into a heated exchange, and when Brandy told Jared to leave her alone, he allegedly pushed her twice while yelling at her. The commotion caused Brandy's friends to call the police but by the time they arrived, Jared was no longer in the bar. Brandy gave a statement to the police, leading to Jared being summoned later. He denied ever laying a hand on Brandy, but the Orange County DA's office charged him with one misdemeanor count of domestic violence battery. It's not clear what the former couple was arguing about. Although Brandy had hinted in an April 2021 interview with Pop Culture that she and Jared weren't getting along so well on the set of Storage Wars, describing working with her ex as not comfortable. This alleged physical altercation not only added strain to Jared's relationship with Brandy, but also to his relationship with his children. Neither Jared nor Brandy have openly discussed this incident, but fans speculated that the incident contributed to A&E's decision to remove Jared from the 14th season of Storage Wars, which premiered a few months later. Fans also speculated that the assault incident might not have been the first time Brandy faced such challenges, referencing one of her Instagram posts from later in the year. In the post, Brandy shared that she is a domestic abuse survivor, 
although she did not go into specifics or name her abuser, who may or may not be Jared as far as the general public knows. In the Instagram post, Brandy showcased her new tattoo, which reads free, with a bird attached to the end. She joked that some of her fans might think she got the tattoo because she is a huge Leonard Sky Nerd fan and loves their song Free Bird. However, she clarified that the tattoo holds deep meaning for her. Brandy wrote in the post, Somehow, by the grace of God, I managed to escape a very difficult situation that so many people fall victim to. I will be eternally grateful for the life and freedom, without fear, that I get to live now. This post indicated that Brandy truly had a life filled with heartbreaking tragedies, but has emerged with newfound strength and freedom. Brandy suffers Hashimoto disease. While Brandy is single-handedly raising her children, she's also dealing with a serious health issue. In 2022, one of her Instagram followers questioned why her voice was so raspy. Brandy responded on her Instagram story, revealing that she has Hashimoto's disease an autoimmune disorder that affects her thyroid and sometimes makes her throat raspy. According to the Mayo Clinic, Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disorder that directly impacts the thyroid gland, located in the lower neck area. Brandy undergoes regular treatment for the condition. While Hashimoto's disease is highly unlikely to be fatal, it still significantly affects her everyday life. A raspy voice isn't the only symptom. Weight gain, exhaustion, constipation, depression, hair loss, and infertility are also common signs. Do you know of other heartbreaking tragedies that happened to Brandy Passante? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.